Hello everyone and welcome to today's live class. Um, so let me see who have we got in the class so far. I can see Zara C, Shazam, Killer Gamer, AC08. That's who I can see so far. Um, Killer Gamer, we sent a, a new password out by email to your parents' email address. So hopefully you can try logging in with that into Minecraft Education Edition. So today we're going to be doing another lesson in Minecraft. So you'll need to open up Minecraft Education Edition and log in with the details that we sent out to you. And what time are we at? We are at 22 minutes past four. So we'll start in eight minutes. Today we're going to be using our agent in um, in Minecraft to do different things. Oh, actually, no, it's not the agent. It's the superpower one today, sorry. Today we're doing the superpowers lesson. So we're gonna give our player in Minecraft different superpowers and see how we can kind of use those, how we can code those in Minecraft to do different things and have a bit of fun. Um, if you are new to the live lessons, the way that they work is uh, we will shortly, I will put in the steps. Uh, Zara C is saying that she can't see the steps just as I say that. Um, the steps are hidden at the start. I can hide them and show them, so I'll quickly show them. There's the steps. We will be working down through those. I'm going to show, hide them again because I'll show them when we start at half four. So we're going to be working down through those steps. I'm going to demonstrate each step. The way I demonstrate a step is you will, you're seeing me here in this uh, YouTube box broadcasting live. If you want to go into full screen when I'm demonstrating a step so you get a nice clear picture of my screen, I'll show you the step and then I'll give you time to do it. So you come out of uh, full screen, switch across Minecraft Education Edition and uh, go ahead and do the step and then come back um, to the instructions. Uh, so you can just mark each step as done so we can see the progress of everyone as they go along. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you are new, you'll pick it up quick, quickly enough. You'll pick it up quickly enough. Um, so hopefully everyone is signed in to Minecraft Education Edition. You don't need to create a world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a world. Actually, I might do it now. Let me create a world that everyone can join. So create a new world. Set it as creative. And we're going to set daytime to always day. And I'm going to host. So it's just creating the world. So I should get a code here after I've created the world where you will be able to join in this world. So we'll have all the all the people doing the live lesson in on the world. Um, so we'll see each other. So when we, but we'll each be able to create our own code um, to give superpowers to ourselves. So it's just taking its time, generating the world. Here we go, any second now. Let me check if there's anything more in the chat. Nope. Come on. I'm not sure why it's gone so slow today. Okay, so let me hide the controls. So here is the join code to join in this world. So you'll need to join a world in Minecraft. You need to choose to join a world and then you're going to enter in water, bucket, panda, agent and fish. Let me take a screen grab of that. So water, bucket, panda, agent and fish. I'll also get a share link. Oh, why did that not work? Let me try that again. Do, do, do. I can see someone else is after joining. That's Killer Gamer. There's the join code. Let me get the share link. Copy it. And I will also paste that into the chat. So you can try and use that to, to join as well. Okay, so let's see. We have, oh great, we have myself, Killer Gamer, Shazam, and Zara C are in. Sometimes, for whatever reason, people aren't able to join um, 
it's happened in previous classes. No matter what we do, you do all the steps correctly and it still doesn't let you join. If that happens, um, sorry about that, but um, it's still okay. You'll still be able to do the lesson. You'll just need to create your own world. So you create a new world, uh, set it to creative, and then you'll be able to do your own stuff in there. It's just that you won't be part of it, of the, the my world, and I won't see you, you won't see me, but you'll still be able to do the lesson. So while we're waiting, people can work away. Uh, I can see people are already <laughs> creating things. So we have four people in here so far. And we'll wait to see if more join in. Um, I can see Rory is after joining. So it's not even half, half four yet. So we still have to give some time for people to join in. So uh, Rory who just joined and Rippled who just joined as well. If you want, uh, if you want to uh, open up Minecraft Education Edition and log in and then to join, you need to enter in this code here. Here's the symbols. It's water bucket, panda, agent, fish. Water bucket, panda, agent, fish. So you're going to need to select join world and then enter in that join code. Water bucket, panda, agent, fish. They are the join code symbols. Ripples was just asking for them there. And that should allow you to join in. I can see Ripple has joined. And hopefully everyone else will be able to join. As I said, if for whatever reason um, you can't join, and it does happen, no matter no matter you enter in all the correct steps, you do all the the right things, and it doesn't let you join, that sometimes happens. You'll just need to create your own world, um, and you'll be able to just do the code and the lesson that we do today in your own world. Okay. So what time are we at? 28 minutes past four. So we'll give it a little bit more time. In the meantime, I'm going to close down all the windows I have opened. I have too many windows open. You can see people flying around the world. Oh, there's a bat and a turtle. Okay, 29 minutes past. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to show the steps for today. Let me set them to appear. Here we go. And if everyone wants to uh, switch out of switch out of Minecraft and come so don't close it down, just you you can hit escape and then maybe minimize Minecraft and come back to this, the lesson screen, so you can see the steps that we're going to do. Okay, Shazam says the code does not work. Well, fingers crossed it does. We'll get there now in a second when we start coding Shazam. So if we come across any problems, we'll try, try and fix it. Okay, so the first step is to open up Minecraft. So hopefully everyone's done that. So open up Minecraft, join the world if you haven't already. Um, um, if you can't join the world, just create your own world in creative. And once you've done that, mark that step as done. So mark step number one as done. So I know that you've done it and you're ready to move on to step number two. So, that, so in this lesson, we're going to be giving our Minecraft character different superpowers. That's what we're going to be doing and learning how to do today. So I'll give a little bit of time. I can see people marking step number one as done. Give a little bit more time for people to do that. I can see Stormer has just joined the live lesson. So welcome Stormer. So today we're going to be doing a Minecraft lesson. So we're just getting started. So the first thing you need to do is to start up Minecraft Education Edition and to log in. And once you're logged in, if you want to try and join my world, the join code is water bucket panda agent fish. Water bucket panda agent fish. Um, we can see that quite a few people have already joined the world. So 
Stormer, if you open up Minecraft Education Edition, uh, log in, and then try and join a world and enter in the code. I'll put it up on screen here. Water bucket panda agent fish. And once you've done that, if you mark step number one as done, and we're going to move on to step number two in a, in a minute. If you can't, if anyone for any reason can't join the world, if it's not working, just create your own world, uh, set it as creative, and then you'll be able to still do the code in there. We'll move on to step number two in a second. That's where we're going to uh, give our character uh, speed, the speed superpower when they uh, use an apple. Okay, so hopefully, let me see, did anyone else join? No, still just five, that's okay. Okay, so we're, we'll move on to step number two, speed. Okay, so we're gonna give our character the speed effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this block here. Let me zoom in. We're gonna use on item apple used. So we'll add some apples to our inventory and then use them. So when we use an apple, we're gonna apply the speed effect to yourself, which is ourselves, for duration 10 seconds and the amplifier so what, how much you're going to amplify the effect is 120. So what figure you put in there affects how fast you go. So let's switch across. So if you want to watch me do this, and then you should be able to go and do it yourself. I'm going to switch to Minecraft. I'm going to press. Uh, so if you want to show and hide the controls, you press H. To open up the code, you press C. And it'll open up the code builder. Give it a few seconds just to load. Do, do, do. Taking its time. Here we go. And um, sometimes it shows you a menu. If it's your first time, it'll show you a menu and say what code editor you want. You want, need to select the um, Microsoft Make Code Editor. It's the one with the little jigsaw piece, and it'll bring you to this screen here. And then we're going to click on New Project. So you create a new project. I'm going to call this one superpowers so give it a name that makes sense to you and then it'll open up the project editor where you can add in the code blocks okay so what code are we going to you use we're going to use the on item used so if i open up the player toolbox i can drag in the on item used and i can click on the little white arrow to select what item I'm going to set this for. So we'll set it for Apple. So when we use an Apple, what we're going to do is, I think it's in mobs. Yeah, in mobs there is apply, and we choose the effect. You can choose who it gets applied to, so the nearest player, but we're going to choose ourselves or yourself, the duration and the amplifier. So we're going to get that block and put it inside the on apple used and then i'm going to change it a little bit so i'm going to leave this at speed okay and then for this one i'm going to change it to yourself so the, so that means it gets applied to my my character and i'm going to leave it on for 10 seconds and i'm going to amplify the speed up to 120. so once i've done that i'm going to run my code so let me get rid of my head. I'm going to click on the, the play button down here. That will update the world with my code so I'll be able to run it. So I need to add apples to my inventory so I can test if this code works. So I'm going to press the E key and I'm going to search for apple. And hopefully you know how to do this. You can drag or click an apple and put it into your event, uh, inventory. I'm going to go out of that and now I'm going to use an apple by clicking the, oh, the right key. And then when I go forward, it should make me go fast. Why is that not making me? Oh, there we go. So that's me going slow. I use the apple. Come on. And it makes me go fast. Okay. 
So if you want to go ahead and try that code, um, I will have a look at the comments. I can see some people are typing in Minecraft and some people are typing in the um, in the website. So let me check both of them. So we can't do it if we can't use code, Shazam says. I'm not sure what you mean by that. We can't do it if we can't use code. Can you not? So same. So maybe I need to put in a setting. So am I right in saying that you can't open up the code editor when you press C? Is that correct? If someone wants to say yes. Enable cheats. Okay, let me go and see if I can change this. So settings. Creative. Do, do, do. Cheats is on. So normally this works. Do I need to switch to classroom? Allow commands. Code builder is on. Leave on perfect weather. Keep inventory. So that should work. Um, enable cheats. I think someone said give operator. Go into permissions. Oh, let me get rid of that. Sorry, let me get rid of that. Go into permissions. We need an operator. Okay, let me see if I can do that. Give everyone operator. Okay, so settings and to do, do, do personal game mode. What's that? To creative. Remember, it's to join. Do, do, do. Where is operator? This room. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, operator. So, hopefully, now going back. So, does that change everyone? So, you may need to rejoin. Oh, I can do it this way. Operator. Zara C. Operator. Killer Gamer. Operator. Shazam. Operator. Sorry, I wasn't aware that I needed to do that as well. And rippled operator. Oh, keeps on going out. Stop that. Maybe rippled has gone. So just need to get rippled to be a operator. Okay, so hopefully everyone can do that now, now that I've set you to operator. Boom, Shazam says boom. I'm gonna take that, that that's a positive. So again, what you need to do is press C to open up the code builder. You'll need to create a new project. And then when you create a new project, you need to go in and add in the code on item Apple used. Apply the speed effect to yourself, duration 10, amplifier 120. I'm going to actually speed it up. So if you want to play around with different speeds, play around with different speeds. So I have it in there. So that's me going normally. I use my Apple. And command speed, kick in. There we go. That's me flying along really fast. Okay, so I'm going to go back. To where we all were and I'm going to check on some comments no we can make code it won't run so does that work or not work for everyone so you should be able to add in that code press play to run it so when you're in here you press play 
and that should run uh, run the code so make sure you do apply it to yourself so on item apple used apply the speed effect to yourself duration 10 seconds and put in the amplifier about 100 or 200 and that should make it go fast ripple to saying look at me so i'm assuming that it is working yeah i can see people zipping around the world super super fast so i so that is working then okay good <laughs> there went somebody went zooming by there Shazam says it works now. Okay, good. So a couple of, couple of hiccups at the start, but hopefully we have it uh, working now. Let me actually close down. My Minecraft is going quite slow, so I'm just going to close down a couple of things. Okay, somebody set the world to uh, the time of the world tonight. So I'm going to put it back. Let's leave it at daytime. I can see somebody is after putting loads and loads of TNT scattered through the world. I presume they're going to ignite those soon enough. Okay, so let's mark step number two as done. So now that we have it working. And we are going to move on to step number three. But I'll give it time for everyone to come out of the world, go back to the instructions, mark step number two as done. And then we'll move on to step number three now in a second. Uh -huh. I know why the world went nice there. <laughs> it's because somebody applied the some somebody did step number three but they didn't just apply it to themselves they applied it applied it to everyone um, okay. i'm still closing down some of my tabs because my computer is seems to be going quite slow Hopefully the bro broadcast is going out okay. Just looks to me like it's kind of stuttering. So as long as you can hear the audio, it should be fine. Okay, so let me see. I'll give a bit more time for people to mark step number two is done before we move on to step number three, which is where we're gonna set night vision to be on. So you see the, in, in the in the block that's where we're applying an effect we say what the effect is that we're applying who it, who it gets applied to the duration it gets applied for and then how strong is the amplification how much of the effect is kind of applied so there's four different things that we can change in that block that kind of change how it works so the next one's going to be night vision okay okay so i'm going to demonstrate night vision you're welcome to go ahead and to do them uh, yourself or you can come along with me so um once everyone runs the time set to midnight or if anyone runs that that will set the world to midnight so everyone will see it so that that is why it was midnight um just seeing what everyone is up to okay so what we're going to add now, so we see that you can actually apply some code to, or you can get some code to run when you use an item. So we use the apple to give us super speed. So now we're going to go back and use a command. So we used these last week. We're going to create a chat command called night and it's going to set the world to midnight so everything goes dark so we can test if our night vision works. So we're going to apply the night vision to ourselves or it'll say yourself but it applies it to ourselves for 10 seconds with an ampl amplifier of 120 so the same thing i'm going to switch to i'm going to switch back to my minecraft education edition press c to open up the code builder this time i'm going to go into player and get on chat command it says jump but let's change that to night for night vision then I'm going to go into gameplay and get time set to midnight. So we set the time to midnight. 
then into mobs and get apply the effect so apply the night vision effect to yourself which is going to be myself for 10 seconds and the amplifier again will go with 120 so let's press play okay <laughs> my world's gone quite crazy because i think somebody <coughs> has run some codes to apply an effect to everyone okay so let me try this see if this works i'm going to press t and then night to run the code so it says it's night, but i'm able to see because the night vision effect is is an effect so somebody is applying what is that kind of um what is that nausea okay so somebody is applying nausea to everyone so whoever is doing that if you wouldn't mind stopping for the moment don't apply nausea to everyone because it's nauseating <laughs> it's good that you're trying out different things in the code but because this is a shared world where we're where we're all on don't apply nausea to everyone but do go ahead and try the night vision and hopefully that works for you. So my night vision has gone back off now. So now it actually looks uh, it looks dark. So the killer camera says I'm actually getting sick. Yeah. So no more nausea. Let's let's agree. Let's uh, make an agreement between us coders. No more nausea. Okay. Let's go back and see if anyone has put anything into the chat. Uh, Ripple says it's night again. Yeah, because when we run that code, time set midnight. That will set it the world's the midnight and we're all in the world so i'm going to mark step number three as done so when you are finished step number three do mark it as done so i can see that you are ready to move on to step number four that's going to be levitation but i'll give a little bit of time for people to finish step number three Okay, so Rippled says bye-bye, so I guess you're heading off, Rippled. Uh, see you later. I hope you enjoyed today. Maybe see you next week. And if you haven't finished the steps of, of this lesson, when you get a chance again, go and try out the different things in the steps of the lesson to make sure you, you see how all the things we're doing this week. Okay, so let's move on to step number four. This is levitation, and this one is really cool. So... What this does is it makes everything levitate. So we're going to create a chat command called fly and we're going to apply the levitation effect to all entities. Okay, so this is going to be pretty funny when there's lots of different people in here. It's going to last for five seconds and the amplifier is going to be two. Um, and here's what it looks like. So when you run the code, it just levitates all the entities. So all the the players and the mobs and so on they all get levitated up okay so to add in this code i'm going to switch to minecraft press c to open up my code builder go into player to get the chat command the on chat command i should say and i'm going to rename this one fly and then go into the mobs get the apply effect and I am going to choose the levitation effect. I'm going to apply it to all entities for, what did we say? We said for duration five and amplifier two. So duration, five seconds, amplifier two. Okay, let's run my code. Click on the play button. I'm going to go down onto the ground, first of all. And now run my code. So T 
fly was my chat command. So when I press that, you can see I'm levitating up in the air. Should be for five seconds. And then down I come. So I can see Zara C just ran it, which is making us all levitate up in the air and then down. So again, once try that code, play around with it, and then try different uh, levels. I can see Killer Gamers after doing one. That's after putting me way, way, way up in the sky. I can't even see the ground. I'm going to start falling down there any second, I bet you. Am I still going up or am I going down? <laughs> <laughs> killer gamer says oops um maybe we should have just applied this one to ourselves but it actually kind of looks cool when you create your own world and then say you've got different lots of different kind of uh animals all around and, and so on entities and you run this one it starts levitating everything up and it looks really really cool okay so it's <laughs> rc says i'm in space yeah me too uh, did i come back down yeah, I came back down. Okay, so I'll give you a few minutes to play around with that one. <laughs> you just have to put me up in the air again. Um, okay, so I tell you what, once you've finished, once you've finished doing that one, maybe change it so it doesn't say all entities. Maybe just apply that one to yourself, okay? so that everyone else has a chance to run the code for themselves and see it working. So I'll give a few minutes for people to do that. Let's go back and see if there's any more comments. I'm going to mark step number four as done. Any comments? No comments. But I'll give a few more minutes for people to play around with step number four, the levitation one. Um, there will be a step at the end where we're going to explore and because there's lots of different effects you can apply. Um, but don't, don't do that yet. Just do the ones that we're doing and then at the end it'll be a free for all. Everyone can, can try the different things. Okay, so if I can ask everyone to stop applying the fly effects, the levitation effects, just because we're going to need to move on to the next step. And if everyone's up in the air, we won't be able to do it. So um, I want to leave everyone with the operator so you can, you can do your code, but no more applying the levitation effect, please, so we can go back down onto the ground. Um, to the port. I'm just seeing how I can run some code to get everyone to go back down onto the ground. Okay, somebody said it as survival. So, um, if I can ask everyone to stop changing the settings, I'm going to change it back. View creative. 
So do not change the settings. If you change the settings, um, if you change the settings, I'm going to have to stop the world. Okay. So I'm going to go over here to a bit of space and I'm going to get everyone to teleport over to me. So just don't run any commands for the moment, right? Everyone's over here. Okay. So now let's move on to step number five, fireproof. So if you want to go back to the instructions, so come out of Minecraft for a minute and go back to the instructions, we're going to, we're going to make ourselves fireproof. So what this step is, we're going to put a, a bunch of fire on the ground. We're going to kind of put a square, a grid of fire, uh, but we're going to give ourselves, make ourselves fireproof. So apply the fireproof effect to ourselves for 10 seconds, which means we're going to be able to go through the fire with no damage whatsoever. Um, so to do this, let's go into Minecraft. I press C to open up my code builder, get rid of my search. And I'm going to bring in on chat command. And this one I'm going to call fire. So fire into mobs, get the apply effect. And I'm going to apply the fire resistance to myself for 10 seconds with the amplifier way up. Doesn't really matter as long as you apply it kind of high enough. But then what I want to do is fill a square with fire. So I'm going to go into the blocks tab and get the fill block like that. I'm going to say fill with, let's type in fire for, what was it? Uh, minus five to minus five and five to five. So the from is minus five, zero, minus five, and the two is five, zero, five. So when you are running this code, you will need to go and find, oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> you will need to, I'm struggling to walk because I'm on fire. You'll need to go and find a little bit of space for yourself like I have here and then run your command. So fire puts the fire there, but I'm okay because I have the fire command, but it's only going to last 10 seconds. So I need to, I need to get out of the fire before it goes. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and try those uh, or try that step, tr that code, I'll keep on checking if there's any comments either in the lesson chat or in Minecraft. So Ripple said, I placed lava. Zara, say, Zara tried to swim in lava. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Lava's okay. I think that the fireproof um, effect will apply to anything that, uh, any block or any um, thing that is lava. Yeah, because look, if I go into lava here, Let me actually get rid of, I'm going to take this part out. So I just, I'm going to use everyone else's lava and fire to test it. So I'm going to just go fire. So that apply the effect. When I go in here onto the lava, it doesn't affect me. So rippled, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Ripple says, if you're in creative, then you don't die. Yep, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to switch to creative um, just because people will be dying and then respawning. Um, but this is more, it's a good point. It, this is more applicable to creative. So this kind of works better in creative where there's an actual consequence for going into fire or lava. So, but now you know how to make yourself fireproof. Okay, so I will give just another minute or so for people to play around with step number five for making yourself fireproof and then we'll move on to step number six so play around for another minute or so and then i'll call you back and we'll have a look at step number six and a bit of a chat about it
So let's have a see what's everyone up to. Oh my God, there's like sheep and wolves. Someone's <laughs> someone is having a right all time spawning loads and loads of wolves and sheep. Oh my God, it's an absolute <laughs> massacre. So who was doing that? Um, killer gamer. <laughs> Okay, try not to fill the world with too much stuff so we all can um, enjoy it. So, um, I don't know who's, I think it's Killer Gamer that's doing it. So just <laughs> calm down on the spawning uh, of animals for the moment. Okay, so let's talk about the other effects. So if everyone wants to come out of Minecraft, so flick out of Minecraft and back over to the lesson. Um, and let's take a look 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 at step number six so there's lots of different effects that we can apply there's speed slowness haste mining fatigue strength jump boost nausea we saw the nausea one do not do that again <laughs> uh, regeneration resistance fire resistance um water breeding so you can breathe underwater, invisibility, blindness, night vision, hunger, weakness, poison, wither, health boost, absorption, and le levitation. So there's lots of different ones that you can apply. There's a whole list there in step number six. It gives a bit of a description of what each effect is, if it's positive or negative. So if you want to go ahead now and try out some of them, but I would ask you, just apply them to yourselves. So let's be fair to everyone. Because at the moment, you can, if you want, apply them to everyone. All entities or all players. Don't do that. Just do it to yourself. Okay? So try out a couple of the different effects, different ones. I'm going to go down here. I'm also going to set it back to daytime. Just so we can kind of see what's going on. So go in and try out maybe... Um, some of the other effects if you want to try out how you can kind of trigger them so you can use you know when you use your uh, iron shovel or pickaxe I'm going to do when I use I'll use apple again take that one out and this time I am going to what one will I do invisibility so I'm going to apply invisibility to myself for 10 seconds when I use the apple. So here I am. I need to add in the apple to my inventory. I need to choose, select the apple, and now I'm going to use it. And as you can see, I've disappeared. Nobody can see me. And that should just last for 10 seconds, and then I'm back. Okay, so I'm going to go up in the air. I'm going to set it back to daytime. and have a look at what everyone is doing so killer gamer is just there i presume killer gamer is coding at the moment rippled is on top of this box which i'm not sure what effect is currently on you can kind of tell the effects by the little squiggles uh, floating up out of the character where is everyone else oh so rippled is back down there Zara C is doing the fire one. Well, she's calling the, her fire command. I'm not sure what code. She might have updated updated it. <laughs> Ripple says, "I'm definitely defiant. I'm defiantly dying." <laughs> so Shazam is <laughs> throwing fire bombs by the looks of things. Lighting the world on fire. Rippled, it was meant to make me turn invisible. Yeah, I tried the code there, Rippled, and it did work. It, it, it turned my character invisible. So just check that it, that you're applying it to yourself. And Killer Gamer is spawning a bunch of chickens. <laughs> Zara C drowned. Oh my god, it's all it's all happening. Just 
Shazam is still lighting things on fire. Ripple says, why doesn't it work? I'm not sure. So Ripple, if you want to have a look, come and look at the video. So I'm going to, so you can see my screen. So Ripple, if you want to go and see my screen, I'm going to open up my code editor. So I'm using the Apple, but you can, you could put it in a different one. I'll put it in an on chat command. I'm going to call it hide and I'll just drag it down here. So it says on chat command hide, apply the invisibility to make sure yourself is, ch is chosen for 10 seconds and the amplifier. So you can choose whatever you want. That's going to be the strength of it. I, um, I chose quite a high strength. You can go up to 255. So I'm going to leave it at 210, say. I'm then going to press on the play button down here to make sure my code is updated. And now when I press T and run my command hide and enter, I'm hidden. So you can see there that it works for me. So hopefully that will work for you, Rippled. Let's have a look what else are saying. Killer Gamer, cool. I have hacks, but not now. Uh, the oldest Minecraft server that you can use hacks on. Shazam made a flamethrower. So hopefully your one will work rippled when you try it. Hopefully you spot, there must be something just slightly wrong or out in your code. Just take your time and try and spot what that is and update it and then run the code and it should work for you. The code does work if you can get it correct. So just keep on playing around with it and you will get it. Let's see. <laughs> so Killer Gamer is still making loads of chickens. Shazam has the flamethrower going down there. I don't see rippled. So does that mean that rippled your invisibility code worked? Let me go back and check if there is any comments. Uh, Ruri S is giving the red thumbs down. So Ruri, if you want to let me know uh, if you're having a problem with any of the code or any of the steps, if you want me to repeat anything, if you just try and type it into the chat, so click on chat and just try and type it into there, you know, step number four or five, or if, if you do have a question, if you can put it in there, I'll keep an eye on the chat and I'll try and help you. I'm going to mark step number six as done. So now for the rest of the lesson, we're really just kind of playing around with the different effects. You, you don't even have to do any of the effects now. If you want to go back and do some of the code we did from last week where we were spawning in different things, uh, feel free to do that. Just don't try not to affect other people if you can, because we're all trying to share the world, the Minecraft world and the real world. I'll keep an eye on Minecraft as well, just to see if anyone puts anything into the chat. I can see that <laughs> Killer Gamer is still creating his gigantic chicken farm. Zara C is doing something got to do with swimming. Oh, so maybe you're giving yourself that you can breathe underwater. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye out on the chat in both Minecraft and on the lesson. So if you do have any questions or comments or want me to look at anything, try and do put it into the chat and I will try and help you. In the meantime, I oh, someone applied some effects to me. Oh, someone's after applying the levitation effect again. Who was that? Uh, rippled. So if you're applying the, the levitation effects, try and just apply it to yourself as opposed to all players or all entities, because otherwise we all go up. Ripple says, whoops, it was copied. Yeah, that's no problem, because that was what we were doing in the lesson. So, But just do change it to yourself. So it's only yourself that does it. 
Um, right, so I have to wait to come back down. <laughs> Could be a while. Oh, Rory is asking, how do you join? Okay, so Rory, to join, you need to click Join World in Minecraft. And when you click on Join World, it's going to ask you for a code, the join code. And this is the code that you need to enter. You need to enter Bucket, Panda, Agent, Fish. Bucket, Panda, Agent, Fish. Fish. So in Minecraft, click on Join World, enter in the join code Bucket Panda Agent Fish, and that should let you join our world that everyone is in. Um, oh, Shazam, your operator is turned off. Let me turn that back on. And I'll keep an eye out for Rory. Hope you hopefully you're able to join. So again, it's water bucket panda agent fish Rory S for you to join in. I'll keep an eye out and see if you can get in there. Uh, brilliant. So I see Ruri S has joined. So Ruri S, um, <laughs> I'm still way, way up in the air. How can I go back down? <laughs> so if you are miles up in the air, it's because somebody set the levitation for everyone up. Um, I will try. How will I get everyone down? I don't want I don't want everyone to teleport to me because I'm up in the air. Hmm. Do, do, do. Am I still going up in the air? I wonder how can I do, oh if I set this to uh, if I set it to uh, survival I'm going to set it to survival for everyone why did that not work settings survival and what code? I'm just trying to get, if I kill everyone, it might make everyone respawn. Do, 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 do. How could I do that? Gameplay. Is that difficulty? What does toggle downfall do? So if anybody is wondering why they're miles up in the air, it's because somebody ran the levitation um, and put everyone up in the air. So I'm trying to figure out how to get everyone back down. Okay, respawn. Okay, so please do not run that levitation again. Uh, whoever ran it, just make sure you don't run that levitation again. I'm going to set the world back to creative for everybody. Okay. And if you want to just, you, uh, Ripple says, sorry, no problem. Um, if you want to just uh, play around with the code. Oh, Shazam said jump. Just make sure that you're not applying effects to everyone, all entities. Only do it to yourself. 
okay? So if I see people are uh, doing it, I'm going to kick you out of the room or kick you out of the world because it's not fair to everyone, okay? So someone's after applying that again. Who did that? So I'm going to keep an eye on it now. And if people do make other people float, I am going to boot them out of the world. And please don't set the, the game too creative. Just leave it as it is. Don't change any of the settings. Or sorry, don't set it to survival. So just be respectful of everyone playing the game and not to affect other people. So if you're applying an effect, only apply it to yourself. Don't apply it to other entities or all players. If you're playing by yourself, absolutely go ahead and do that. Shazam, I'm seeing you use the jump um, commands there. So just make sure you don't affect other people. Thank you. Okay, let me go back and see if there's any comments. Ruri says you're in. Yeah, welcome Ruri. So Ruri, if you haven't already, try working yourself uh, down through the steps. Try out the different things, um, the different pieces of code. So basically we're creating our own superpowers in Minecraft where we can go fast, we get night vision, we get levitation, uh, we, get, we make ourselves fireproof, and then we get to explore. So you can do lots of different things. Uh, in there. Yeah, I'm not sure who's making it into survival. Um, I'm going to run some code to change that. So I'm going to set it to creative. I'm not sure who keeps on setting it into survival, but please stop doing that. Oh, uh, they're after locking it. Okay. <laughs> so don't go in and change any of the permission levels, whoever did that because it kind of ruins the fun for everybody that they're not able to go in and do things and it takes up a little bit of time. So please don't do that. Please uh, just be respectful of everyone. So make sure everyone has fun. I've set everyone back to operator. So you should be able to run the code um, and work away. I'm gonna take it out of survival back to creative and I'm going to leave everyone to go ahead and play around in that world and have some fun. Uh, again, just be respectful, try not to affect other people. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this lesson in learning how to give yourself superpowers in Minecraft. It's a really cool thing to know how to do. And um, so the next time you're, you're playing Minecraft in Education Edition, you can actually give yourself those superpowers um, and use them within the game. So we will have another live lesson next Wednesday at half four. That we'll start the broadcast probably about quarter past four just to have the chats. In the meantime, I hope you have a good week and we will see you uh, next Wednesday. Bye.